Hey guys, it's Shock with GG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over which operators that you guys should buy first, both for the attackers and the defenders. So before the video starts today, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a sub and like the video. would really appreciate it. really does help us out here on DG. Again, we're on that daily upload grind. Anyways, if you guys have any of the operators that you want to put in the comments that you think the new players should get first, put those down there. would love to hear you guys' opinions on that. Anyways, though, on to the video. So we're going to start with the attackers first. So I'm going to try to keep it somewhat basic here. The new players probably aren't going to have a great grasp of how to play Siege or so much teamwork or, you know, all the complicated gadgets or whatever like that. So keep in mind when I pick these operators that it may sound really simple to you how to use, say, Habana or, you know, whoever. But to a new player, they may not fully understand that to correctly utilize someone's gadget, you need to also have teamwork with someone else's gadget. So we're going to try to keep it really simple here and just pick operators that are really, really simple that you don't need much teamwork with and that a new player that's never touched Siege can pick up right away. So to start us off here, I'm going to say Sledge as the first attacker. I think Sledge is super simple. He's just got that breaching hammer. Everyone's going to pick up Sledge and just instantly know how to play him. He's literally just a sledgehammer that destroys walls and doors. I think that's really simple. He's also got two really good guns. And um, I think that this is going to be really helpful for them because they're going to have not only a gun with an ACOG and all the other scopes, but they're also going to have an SMG-11. So they're having a good range of the guns with ARs and uh, SMGs, along with the flashbangs and nades. They're going to kind of get to learn how to use nades, how to use flashes or whatever. So I think Sledge is going to be a good first pick if you're just picking up the game. As for our next operator, though, I'm going to have to say Ash for sure. Ash is another one of those really simple operators. You know, you've got the R4C, which is a great gun. New players probably aren't going to have the best aim, so this gun's going to hit like a truck, and it's just going to get them that easy frags. You've also got two really good pistols, and you've got those flashbangs, which is going to be really helpful, teaching new players how to use those flashbangs. And of course, the main thing with her, her gadget is really, really simple. There's not much to it at all. You just ash charge, you know, again, those soft barricades, those soft walls, whatever it may be. Very similar to Ash, meaning that they're going to kind of get the gist of Ash and Sledge. They both just break these soft walls and barricades and windows. So I feel like they're going to pick up on both these operators really quickly. Besides that, though, I'm actually going to say IQ. Now, IQ can be a little bit complicated if you're trying to, like, you know, do specific strats. You're like, hey, IQ, go below, and you're going to be looking for a bandit charge. You're going to shoot it through the floor. That can be a little bit more complicated. But I do think it's important to introduce uh, new players to IQ because her gadget is going to teach them all about other operators' gadgets. So IQ is going to be really helpful to teach new players about other operators gadgets so they can easily more or at least more easily learn those other operators and this will also teach them teamwork and how they can interact with other people's gadgets with their own so really going to be teaching them the fundamentals of siege so i really do think iq is going to be a good pick for new players she's also got these three amazing guns you really just cannot go wrong with any of iq's guns for sure one of the best loadouts on attack You've got the G8, which is, of course, so, so overpowered right now. You've also got the AUG, which is a great gun, and the 552 Commando, which hits like a truck. We're talking 48 damage here. So this is going to give them a large array of weapons to test and play with, as, as well as that P12 pistol, which is a great pistol. Personally, one of my favorites in the game, besides the RG15. They've also got that Breaching Charge and Claymore. So again, IQ is just super versatile in terms of her actual loadout with her guns and all of that. So I think it's going to be very important that new players pick up IQ. Next up is going to be Buck. We're going to keep it with that simple theme, as I said before. You guys see I was memeing with the <laughs> DMR here, but we're going to actually pick up the C it again. Buck is another one of those simple operators. You know, if, if these guys have played COD or whatever, these new players, they're going to come to the siege and be like, oh, I know what a shotgun attachment is. You know, I've seen that in COD or I've seen that in this game. A shotgun attachment on a gun is very, very simple. It's in tons of different FPS games. It's going to be super simple for them to pick up. They're going to get it right away. So I think that this is going to be really important for new players. It's also going to teach them vertical play. It's very important in siege to play vertical on a lot of maps. So this is going to teach them exactly how to play vertical. They're going to have their teammates to help them out, kind of tell them where to go and how to play it. But I think this is going to be really important to learn the vertical aspect of Siege. You know, Sledge, you can't really play from underneath. So, you know, Sledge and Buck have their differences. I think Buck's a little bit better for vertical, at least for underneath. So in terms of that, the new players are going to learn a bit easier 
uh, with Buck to play from underneath. So I think this is a really good operator for them to pick up. And of course, you know, the C8 is an awesome weapon. The DMR is, you know, it's all right, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the C8. And his pistol, of course, is really, really good. His uh, loadout in terms of secondary gadgets is pretty decent, all right. So I think this is a great operator for new players to pick up. Our next operator is going to be Blackbeard. So I think Blackbeard's a really good operator to pick up if you're a new player. You know, these new players aren't going to know too many of these angles. If you're a seasoned player, you're going to know these pixel peaks and these pre-fires and certain angles that you hold and common spots for people to be sitting. But if you're a brand new player, you're not going to know the maps. You're not going to know the common places to sit or the common pixel peaks or angles people are holding. So I think it's really important to play Blackbeard if you're a new player. It's going to give you that slight edge, that slight advantage, so that if you get shot at from this pixel peak, you're going to have a little bit of extra time to see, okay, where am I getting shot at, and just react to what's happening. So I think it's actually pretty important to maybe play Blackbeard, you know, here and there, just kind of until you learn the pixel peaks and the angles and common spots to play in. I definitely think Blackbeard's a decent pick if you're a new player. Of course, Blackbeard's got the MK17, which is a pretty good assault rifle, and also that DMR, which I actually prefer to run on Blackbeard myself, as well as the Deagle. The Deagle is a great secondary weapon and he's also got those breaches and those flashes so overall a pretty good loadout coming from blackbeard and i think he's going to be a great operator for those new players to pick up next up i'm going to say that twitch is going to be a pretty good pick for new players this is going to teach them a little bit more about drones and how to use them and just teach them a little bit more about drone economy not to waste their drones it's going to show them the importance of using their drones if you're just a normal operator without the twitch drone you're not going to be as inclined to get on that twitch drone or you know i guess they're just your normal drone so playing twitch is going to tell a new player hey you know these drones are actually really powerful it's going to show that they can actually use these to their advantage so i think it's really important for new players to hop on that twitch role and just kind of play around with the drones and you know learn how that all works and also twitch is some amazing guns i mean i think the shotgun's really underrated um <laughs> maybe that's not the best thing for a new player to start out with but you know of course the f2 is a, a pretty decent assault rifle it's not the uh, insane weapon that it used to be but it is still a pretty good uh, assault rifle as for that 417 yeah it's all right i wouldn't take it over the f2 but overall she's got some pretty decent weapons that i think new players are going to like and of course, it's going to teach them how to use those drones properly and teach them the importance of droning in Siege, which is, you know, not a completely unique feature of Siege, but I think it is way more important to use your drones than, you know, in other games if they have drones. So that's going to teach them the importance of that. So I think that's about enough attackers. I'm sure we could go in and find more attackers that would be great for new players, but we're going to keep it to those few. We're just going to go over a few for both the attack and the defense, just so that we're not making this video like 30 minutes long, because we could sit here all day and argue that this operator is good for new players because of this and all that. But anyways, on to the defenders. So I think a really good defender for new players to pick up is definitely going to be Rook. Now, if you guys watch my streams or whatever, you'll know that I definitely do not like when people pick Rook over Doc. But if we're talking about new players here, I think it is pretty important that new players just pick up that Rook role. Um, you know, his, his gadget's super easy. You literally just hold one button, your gadget's down. You don't have to worry about anything else. It's super simple. And, you know, that's, of course, is really important for a new player. So I definitely think that Rook is going to be a good pick in the beginning. And of course, he's got that great MP5 SMG along with the P90, which is actually pretty underrated in my opinion, as well as the shotgun, which I talked about on Twitch is actually really good. I think it's pretty underrated. If you guys have seen my videos, you know what I'm talking about. Besides that, though, they've got the revolver, which I think is pretty good, as well as the P9, um, both really good pistols. I like using the revolver, honestly, just because I have black ice, lol. But uh, also, he's got those proximity alarms and those impact grenades. It's going to introduce them to some new gadgets. The proximity alarm is going to teach them teamwork and things such as that. And also, like, strategic spots for where to put their gadgets at. So, overall, I think Rook's going to be a pretty good operator for new players to pick up. All right, so next up, we're actually going to pick Vigil. So, Vigil's a pretty simple operator. If you just read what he does, it's going to say that, yo... This operator, when you press this gadget button, you can't get seen by drones or cameras. Boom. That's pretty simple. So I think it's a pretty simple concept for new players to pick up on. I've been saying that over and over and over, but again, that is the theme of the video. Just simple operators that new players can pick up on. But uh, I think that his gadgets are pretty, or his weapons are pretty like versatile. Um, you, you know, you've got the Bosch G, you've got the K1A, the C7, 
or the C75 and the SMG12. These are a bunch of different guns. Going to give them a you know a bunch of different feels for the different guns in the game. Um, so I think that that's going to be pretty good for the new players. See kind of what guns they like to play with. Because, of course, there are a lot of different type of guns in this game. As well as just the bulletproof camera. It's going to introduce them to a new gadget that they might not have seen before if they're playing, you know, Rook or whatever. Um, going to introduce them to some new gadgets. So I think that's very important. And if they die, it's not the worst thing ever. As long as they use the secondary gadget for, you know, rotates or put their bulletproof camera down. If they die early, it's not too big of a deal. So... I think this is a pretty good pick for a new player. All right, next up, we got Capkin. So I think Capkin's going to be a great operator for new players to learn. Um, you know, place your traps down. You walk into them. They do damage. I think it's really simple for new players to pick up on. And, you know, as, at the end of the day, if Capkin dies early, it's not that big of a deal. We're kind of looking at these operators. If, if they die early, it's not too, too big of a deal. Um, you don't want like you don't want your smoke as the new player because they don't they're not gonna know what to do and they're gonna swing something die early. Of course, smoke needs to stay alive, so that's kind of why we're picking operators like this. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Capkin's gonna be a good pick for them. It's gonna introduce them to some shotguns and also this gun, which I think is amazing. This gun is so 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 good. I think it's so underrated. It's got that 1.5x, which I love. I think it's so good. Uh, of course, that nitro cell as well. The nitro cells are so important to learn how to use in this game. So I think it's really important to introduce them to those. Uh, and yeah, overall, I think Capkin's a really simple operator that new players are actually going to love. And for our last operator, we're going to say Frost. I think Frost is another one of those just really simple trap operators that most new players are going to easily understand. So I think Frost for sure is going to be the play here. Um, you know, Frost is very simple. Place your trap down, you walk into it you get down I think it's pretty much as simple as Capkin. So of course we have to add frost in here. Um, you could argue that you could throw Legion in too, you know, maybe, um, I've noticed with new players and Legion, however, that they tend to not throw their traps, but I feel like frost, uh, people are like pretty incentivized to do so early in the rounds because they have all of them at once instead of these Legion mines, which recharge, you know, throughout the round. So that's kind of why I'm excluding Legion in these trap operators. But, uh, I think Frost is going to be a great operator for new players to pick up and introduce them to secondary shotguns and the uh, deployable shield, which is really important as well. So overall, I think that Frost is going to be a great operator for new players. That's probably going to be all though, guys. If you did enjoy the video, again, be sure to consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.